energy crisis escalates and winter approaches, experts are trying to model what will happen to supply and demand in the UK. The one question on everyone's mind, can we keep the lights on? Now, the national grid has warned that in a worst case scenario, that might be difficult. Its winter outlook report outlines a situation where cold, still weather might push demand up at the same time as wind power generation declines. And if electricity imports from neighbours in Europe were to reduce or stop, and the same happened with gas imports via interconnectors or liquid natural gas shipments, that could result in a series of planned three-hour blackouts for UK households and businesses. However unlikely this is, it conjures images of the 1970s when power was restricted and Britain was plunged into darkness and a three-day working week. It's one of the reasons Liz Truss, who has previously promised that energy will not be rationed, has been talking to European counterparts in Prague, trying to make sure they will send the UK energy if needed. Well, what we're clear about is that we do have a good supply of energy in the UK. We're in a much better position than many other countries, but of course, there's always more we can do. And that's why I'm here working with our partners, making sure we do have a secure energy supply into the future. The national grid is now focused on preventing us ever having an emergency shortage in the first place. Firing up coal power plants could be one contingency measure, and there are new plans for consumers too. People and businesses are going to be asked to sign up to a voluntary scheme under which they'd be paid to avoid using electricity at times of peak demand. That might mean, for example, charging an electric vehicle or using a washing machine overnight. And it's hoped that that might deliver enough power savings this winter to help balance supply and demand. At Flow Coffee in London Bridge, it's something they're willing to try, anything to avoid blackouts. If we go on blackout, it might affect all my fridges, it might affect my machine. That's going to create me an additional uh, waste, an additional money that I have to pay to fix them. So it's going to affect the business and it's going to affect a lot of people. So yes, I'm very scared about that. Some say the government should have started this conversation much sooner. Well, lots of energy experts are really uncertain about why Liz Truss and the new administration are going down this road. You know, much of Europe is taking part in energy demand strategies, reducing their demand. Um, Germany, Spain in particular, have got lots of very common sense measures in place. You know, turn off the lights when you leave the room, don't have lights on in businesses overnight. These things make sense not only to the public, but also now for our energy security. A missed opportunity, maybe. But the Truss administration is fearful of anything that might impact growth. Although if the national grid's worst case scenario comes to pass this winter, the country will have other things to worry. Shalom, kohaloyam, wahawa, la yahawu, bahasimi habasai, bahashim, rakahakodas. Double honors are going out to the venerable apostles of the great millstone, along with the elder bishops who rule well through the spirit. Salutations, peace and blessings to the Ba'af the Wada, that is the house of David, the election that's being raised up in these last days, beginning with his servants, the prophets, the men of the Lord, who are out on the highways and hedges throughout the four corners of the earth, preaching and teaching the correct doctrine, singing a new song, waking up the lost sheep at the house of Yasharala, and to you believers as well. All right, you men, women, and children who have believed our report, I'm Shamar Moth with another video, all right, Prophecy Speaking. And part of the day of the Lord is darkness, man. Now it's going to be twofold. It's going to be physically dark, okay? Darkness is coming to Babylon the Great 2, a.k.a. America. Now you just seen this video, all right, where the mother of Babylon, okay, the UK, all right, they're, they're telling their people over there, all right, to plan for three-hour uh, power blackouts, which if they're admitting to three-hour power blackouts, if they're admitting to that, then it's going to be much worse than that, okay? And it is. And whatever happens in the EU... All right. Whatever happens in Australia. OK, whatever happens in, in other parts of the earth. OK, those things are coming right here to the shores of so-called America. OK, so it's going to be there's going to be physical darkness. The lights are going to go out and it's also going to be spiritual darkness. OK, because when the men of the Lord, OK, beginning with the apostles of the Great Millstone are, are called off these streets, which that's going to happen in the very near future. OK, there won't be. Okay, a, a light in this world no more. This word won't be pushed no more. Okay? And that's going to lead to a spiritual darkness that you can't even fathom now. 
All right. Now, the comfort for the men of the Lord is, and to you believers as well, is this word is going to be, uh, uh, this true wisdom and knowledge, it's like it's going to be the stability of, 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 our, of our times, man, of these times. Okay, pursuant to uh, Isaiah, what is that, the 33rd chapter? Matter of fact, let me get this real quick. All right. Um, Isaiah 33. This wisdom and knowledge, okay, is what will sustain the elect during these times, all right? Because the hey, the, the elect will have a, a strong tower to run into and be safe, man, pursuant to Proverbs the 18th chapter and the 10th verse. This is Isaiah chapter 33 and verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, is his treasure. Right. So during these uh, uh, you know times where darkness is going to cover the earth all right, and gross darkness, like it says in Isaiah the 60th chapter. OK, this wisdom and knowledge, having this wisdom and knowledge is what's going to keep us sane, man. And don't don't get it twisted. We we, too, are going to have our times where we're going to feel we're going to feel the heat, man. You know, we're going to feel it. OK, we're not impervious to the things that, that, that affect, you know, the sheeple. You know, because we're still in this flesh. However, again, we have that strong tower to run into. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah, the name of the Lord. Okay? So, yeah, and, and since I mentioned uh, Isaiah 60, it talks about gross darkness <clears throat> covering the earth. We're already in that time, but it's only going to get worse. Isaiah chapter 60 and verse 2. For behold, the, the darkness shall cover the earth. And gross darkness the people. Again, this is spiritual and physical darkness, man, covering the earth. All right, it says, But the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh shall arise upon thee, okay, his elect at this point in time, all right, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. That's right, during these times, during the times of Jacob's trouble, when, when all hell breaks loose, all right, when SHTF, all right, the sheeple out there, all right, and two thirds of the Lord's people who don't believe, okay, the house of Saul, you're going to be able to see a shine on the elect, man. Okay, and you're not going to know how to what the how to how to how to how to think about that, but you're going to recognize it. You are going to recognize the elect, man. Right? All right, because now heading into this time is when the Lord's going to start raising up His elect, man. And at some point, His elect men are going to get them superpowers. Okay, best believe that. Okay, so the elect are going to be walking around again. You know, having having our moments where where we're in tight spots. You know, don't get it, don't get it twisted, but hey, at the end of the day, you get, you'll see the difference, man. You'll see that shine, okay? You'll see that shine. Um, you know, a big part of the day of the Lord is darkness, man. I mean, I've done countless videos on this topic. This is one of my favorite topics to go into: how the lights will go out. The lights are going to go out over there in the UK and uh, and 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 uh. uh the various EU nations, as well as other nations too, all right? And it's going to be felt the worst here in America, okay? This horror is going to feel it the worst. You you, you Americans over here, you Babylonians, you're going to feel it the worst, you know, because of all the nations, all right, you're the most pampered. You're the most spoiled. You're used to getting your way and you're used to having, you, you know, the, all, all the goodly things at your at your fingertips whenever you want them. And when you go to flip that light switch on and the, and, and the lights don't come on, you know, hey, when, 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 when you can't cook, when you can't keep your food and, you know, uh, 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 from going uh, uh, bad in your refrigerators, <laughs> when you can't <laughs> when you can't use your cell phones, man, you people are going to fucking lose it. You know, pardon my language, so like you, but you're going to lose it, man, you know. You will lose it. So a big part, again, of the day of the Lord in, in the time of Jacob's trouble is darkness. All right. Let's get some precepts. All right. This is the book of uh, Amos. Uh, chapter five. OK. All 
in uh, verse 18, okay? And it reads, Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord, Yahweh, Bahasim, Yahweh Shai. That's right, because you got Christians out here like looking forward to the return of so-called Jesus Christ, which Jesus is not his name, man. His name is Yahweh Shai. The name of the only begotten Son of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh Shai, okay? His name is not Jesus. But you got Christians out here waiting for the return of so-called Jesus, thinking they're going to be raptured and everything is going to be great. They're going to escape tribulation. No, man, it says, woe to you who desire the day of the Lord. All right. It says, to what end is it for you? That's right. What you, The end of it is for you is destruction, man. Because, see, you Christians and those of you among the Lord's people, those of you among our people, all right, you so-called blacks, Latinos, Native American Indians, and Israelite foreigners, the Lord's chosen people, all right, who are stuck in that Christianity. Hey, man, it, the, the, the end for you is destruction, and especially to you Edomite Christians, man. All right, you so-called white Christians. All right, the end of the day of the Lord for you is destruction, man, because the only ones getting beamed up into the chariots are the elect of Israel, okay? You go to Matthew's 24th chapter, and you can read about it, okay, um, among other places. But you can read about it in Matthew's 24th chapter, okay? How, uh, how that uh, Yahweh Shai is coming back in the clouds, which are the chariots. All right, and how he's going to deliver his elect from one into heaven to the other. All right, because the Lord's people are scattered into the four corners of the earth. That was the curse for disobedience. <clears throat> All right, Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, goes into that. Uh, I believe it's the 64th verse. All right, which tells uh, tells you, all right, that we're scattered. Okay, so we're dwelling among all people. All right, so yeah, man, hey, the end of the day of the Lord for you Christians, all right, and you heathens, okay, and you two thirds. You unbelievers is destruction. It says the day of the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, is darkness and not light. See? Hey, you're going to have grid failure over here in America. All right. You're going to have rolling blackouts. We've been talking about it for years through the power and spirit of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. We've seen the writing on the wall years ago. Again, it all starts at the top with our elder apostles. All right. So the warning's gone out. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I say this a lot in my videos and I'm speaking as a man when I say it. I'm I'm literally shocked that the Lord is, is, is still allowing us to speak on these things with all the warning that's gone out with all the trumpets that are being blown. All right. By the men of the Lord, you know, and he's still, you know, uh, got us prophesying, you know, which, you know, hey, that's a beautiful thing because it's all about. His timetable, but you know, speaking as a man, I can't believe it. You know, I mean, now it, 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 through the spirit, I get it. You know, but anyway, it says uh, in verse nineteen, as if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him, right? Like so, you get away from, let's say, you get away from uh, starving to death, but you get smashed in the head by a martial law or a troop. You know, you flee from one uh, um, trouble, only meet another trouble. Okay, it says, or went into the house and leaned his hand. <laughs> on the wall and a serpent bit him right so again you might escape certain certain uh, of these said perils only to be destroyed by another one of the one of these said perils okay again whether it be famine the sword okay or, or what have you okay or, or getting caught up in one of these earthquakes or or or, or, or being uh, um overcome by uh these pestilences and pestilence ain't over yet man all right you you, you have these elites telling you all right, that there's going to be another uh, scamdemic, but there's going to be something real too. All right, the Lord's going to unleash something, something real, something way beyond uh, what 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 went down uh, a couple years ago with this so-called uh, uh, 19 nonsense. Okay, so let's uh, let's get uh, Joel's. All right. Oh, you know what? Let's uh, let's do this. All right, Joel chapter two and verse twenty-nine. All right, and it <clears throat> and it reads, and also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit, and I will shoot wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. You know that's that of course is going into the nuclear destruction because Babylon the Great has an end in its nuclear destruction. Okay, whether you believe it or not, because you got uh, Israelite camps, you know, out here. Who's, who, 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 whose teachers are, are telling you that ICBMs don't exist, that the intercontinental ballistic missiles don't exist. Meanwhile, every, every day, 
you read about uh, uh, these nations firing missiles. North Korea is in the news again. You know, lobbing missiles over uh, over Japan. Okay, uh, uh, the UK is uh, test firing missiles. Okay, over in uh, 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 you know in in, in in the Ukraine. Okay, as part of uh, uh, the beast NATO. Okay, you, you got Russia with all kinds of uh, 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 advanced uh, 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 nuclear capabilities, man. India, Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, they all got nukes. But you got, again, you got these wayward teachers out here, these false prophets and false shepherds among Yasharala saying they don't exist. Whatever, man. Verse 31. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood. Before the great and terrible day of the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh come, right? Again, darkness is part of the day of the Lord. Physical, uh, physically and spiritually, it's going to be very, very dark. It already is, okay? But like we say all the time in our videos, it's only going to escalate and get and get worse. Now, here's some comfort, man, all right? Because these these words, as as one of the lambs, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh this should comfort you, man. You should read these things right, and be comforted. Yes, terrible times are coming, man. Never before uh, seen times are coming pursuant to uh, Daniel's 12th chapter, right? But here's the comfort, right? Verse 32. And I'll wrap it up with this, okay, because the point's been made. All right, Joel is the second chapter in the 32nd verse. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, shall be delivered. Now, what a Christian will likes to do what vocab malone likes to do is take that whosoever and apply that to anyone who believes in sweet jesus no man this is whosoever out of the nation of israel okay who calls on the name of the lord and by the way uh, iuic you better get it together too all right as far as the members i'm not talking to the to the leaders because the leaders are gone man okay but those those of you in in in, in the iuic or uh, 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 or, or, or uh, the GOCC, to name a few, you better start calling on the name Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, or you ain't going to be delivered, man. The elect will call on the name of the Lord Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. All right, it says, For in Mount Zion, here's the proof, this is only for Israel, for in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance. So who's going to be delivered? All right, the Israelites, the elect beginning with 144,000 men from the 12 tribes, the first fruits of salvation, all right? And then that remnant, that multitude who believe, the men, women, and children who hearken to the testimony and believe these words, all right? It says, as the Lord Yahweh Bahashemiah Shai has said, and in the remnant whom the Lord Yahweh Bahashemiah Shai shall call, all right? So yeah, get ready, all right? Again, the mother of Babylon, which that's that, that's the UK, okay? Babylon has a mother. The virgin daughter of Babylon has a mother, the UK, because primarily, you know, America was born out of the UK. You know, it was really the UK, France, and Spain, but, but you know, primarily the UK, all right? It's Jeremiah, the 50th chapter, all right? Rolling blackouts, okay? Rolling blackouts and sustained blackouts are coming. It's going to be brutal out here, man. All right. And if you don't have again, if you don't have that hedge, OK, if you can't run into that strong tower, you as the elder Yashar Wamba out in Dallas likes to say are through. All right. Lord willing, I don't want to rock this out. You were edified by this brief lesson. And with that, I want to say Shalom.